Hey guys, what's going on? My name is KJ Whippy, and welcome to my brand new Minecraft series, Redstone School. Now, in this series, I'm going to be showing you guys each and every aspect of Redstone that I possibly can, and basically tell you as easily as I can uh, just what each thing does. And we're going to start today with the most basic form of Redstone that we can possibly get, which is the Redstone Dust. And the Redstone Dust is pretty much the core of all of Redstone whatsoever. Redstone dust looks like this, and if you right-click it, it looks like that. It used to only look like this up until 1.16, because uh, Mojang wanted to basically just make it look simpler uh, based off of how it functions, and then everybody was complaining, oh, well, we wanted it to look like fake blood. Why is it turning nighttime? Anyway, sorry about that. So we have the redstone dust in this cross shape. And basically what happens with this is if we get a power source, let me go over here and grab a, like a lever or something real quick, grab a block, right? So we get this and we power the block, you can see that that's powered, right? So if we were to place blocks like that and maybe grab like a piston or something, right? You can see that these blocks are being powered, which powers whatever is on them, right? Once we unpower the redstone, those also get unpowered. Right, pretty simple. And if you right click it, it actually doesn't do that. So it's really interesting to see how you can actually like change up how things are aligned in your redstone builds based off of how you have your redstone set up. And like I was saying with uh, Mojang's most recent update of 1.16, they actually made it where this is where it functions rather than it just being this because this tells where it where exactly it's being powered. So it's just a nice little visual reminder of how it works, and that's pretty cool. So redstone dust has a power strength of 15. So like we go up, we power it, right? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that is just barely powering this piston. If it's any longer than 15 blocks, it doesn't power. So keep that in mind when you're making redstone. You may want to make sure that things are lined up in a proper distance in comparison to making sure you have it actually lining up and powering it in a certain amount of space. I know that entire sentence didn't make sense whatsoever. It's fine. My brain doesn't work. My brain doesn't work at all. Redstone dust comes from this very block right here, the redstone ore. There is also a deep slate version in the 1.17. Uh, this is actually the retextured version, which I honestly, I kind of like it. It's nice. It has a nice aesthetic to it. But this will give off up to eight things of redstone dust. So you can see there, I already had one in my inventory. So we got five there. So that was pretty good. That was a nice medium range. Redstone dust comes from redstone ore and you can also find it in chests in dungeons in strongholds pretty much any pretty much any uh spawning structure so that's pretty cool but yeah that's that's pretty much it with the redstone dust the redstone dust like i said is used in all of these other um recipes and my favorite personally is the pistons so once we get to the pistons in a future episode i am looking forward to going over those with you guys as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was kind of short and i know that it really didn't go into too much detail but that's because redstone dust is such an expansive topic that there's 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 literally no way that i can go over it all in one video so i hope you guys enjoyed if you enjoyed this series uh, make sure to stick around for more i'll be posting another video of this later and hopefully you guys are interested enough to stick around for the startup of nerdcraft season 2 which will be happening in the near future the beginning date is not set yet but it will happen soon so i hope you guys enjoy stick around and i'll see you later